everyone, and welcome to another episode of Orgasmic Living. I am your host, Patty Alfonso, creator of the Orgasmic Body Love Experience and Pole Dancing for Consciousness. And I am beyond delighted to have with me today one of my dearest friends, actually, the amazing, talented, smart, beautiful, driven Catherine McIntosh, the creator of the No Judgment Diet. Um, what can I say about Catherine? We have known each other for so long. We have traveled the world together. We have created together. We've had times in our lives where we are together together and see each other a lot and talk a lot. We've had times in our lives where we don't see each other and talk at all. But then when we come back together, it's like no time has passed. So I don't know about you guys, but I love having those kinds of friends where you can just live your life and, and come back together with joy and gratitude for each other. So I am super, super excited to have you here, Catherine. I'm going to start us off with the first question um, that I ask all of my guests right now. And then I hope that we will um, continue our what is an empowered woman conversation that we started on your podcast. So Ms. Catherine McIntosh, tell me, what does orgasmic living mean to you? Oh, I, well, I get full body goosebumps when you <laughs> ask that. And I'm so glad to be here. So for me, it's, it's, like the full embodiment of total expression of yourself. Like oh God, not, I love that. not turning yourself down, not turning yourself sideways, not wiggling and, you know, like, like it is a full embodiment of who you are in the moment at the moment. And, and then, oops, move on <laughs> like <laughs> next. And so for me, like particularly in this phase of my life right now, which I'm excited about our topic today is, is just like this permission to just be what, it, like in, in the moment, fully embodied, fully, at, you know, whatever that is. And then going, Oh, did I want to choose that again? Or, <gasps> You know, like really, really allowing the permission in the space of, of what comes after without judgment, without, you know, need to pick apart and, you know, and it's just that like receiving from that. everything. I love that. The full embodied expression of everything that you are. And that actually really does tie into the beginning of our conversation on your podcast, which I'll put the link uh, below if you all want to listen to that. One of the things that we talked about being an empowered woman is a woman who um, embodies all of the flavors of life without judgment. And that is really, to me, what orgasmic living is is the willingness to be present with and allow everything, all of the flavors, all of the colors that are showing up um, to be fully expressed, right? To not shut ourselves down, to not tone ourselves down, to not um, cut off pieces of ourselves for whatever reason. Um, and, you know, it's interesting I've been a little angry lately, to be honest. <laughs> I've, been, I've been a little bit annoyed and a little bit angry. And I'll tell you why, and we'll continue our conversation. Um, this sort of energy thought, something came up in my universe. And I was like, when the fuck did we as women decide that we were going to tone ourselves down and then support the men in our lives. When did we decide that as a collective, mm -hmm. as a culture, as, as when did that happen? I'm not so good at history, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure there was a time on this planet where like God was a woman and the feminine was revered and our intuition was taken into account. And, you know, we were allowed to be curvaceous and, and full of life and full of energy and, and all of that. And we allowed ourselves to be that. And so I, I don't, I've just been a, honestly like a little bit angry about that energy because I see it a lot, especially with women and in their relationships where we take a lesser role. I saw it with my mom and dad, 
right? We take a lesser role to try to support, you know, the men in our lives. Uh, and then it's like, what are we doing? <laughs> I'm angry about it, Catherine. What the fuck? Well, <laughs> I, feel, I love this empowered woman conversation, but what are your thoughts on that? I personally can't really relate because I've done the opposite. I'm the girl that wears the pants and then gets angry because I'm not feeling supported in my dreams. And so, you know, I, I have had the taste of trying to support a man and it was like, okay, I did that for eight years. I think like, can we still be together and, and we create and, and it really actually tore our relationship apart because exactly it, because it literally was a shift in identity. It was a shift in like core, like day-to-day -day activities. Mm -hmm. I became the breadwinner. He became this, you know, he, he jokes about it. He was the stay at home postpartum. He's like, Oh my God, is there a postpartum depression for men? <laughs> like, like, and, and so, you know, like I, I, I mean, but there's, there's always, I think that the bigger piece is where did we decide to turn ourselves? Because I still was turned down mm -hmm. in, in the opposite role because I was angry that I wasn't being supported. Right. Yeah. Right. So yeah. I think it can go both ways. And, you know, there, and then the question comes like, well, what would it take within each of us to just set ourselves free? Yeah. To yeah. not give a flying fuck. <laughs> About what it's going to look like <laughs> or, you know, oh, it's been really interesting noticing that energy and I'm, I'm taking in what you just said about, you know, you kind of wore the pants in the family. Oh, and it feels like even then, you know, even then there's still an energy of like, like us having to do everything. Mm, that that is true whether it shows up as like you know you're the one that's supporting your man to succeed or you're the one that's choosing to to you know go out in the world and succeed it's it still has this energy and you know it's like i also get that because of our ability to handle more than one thing, not only like on a day to day, but also energetically, right? We have that sort of naturally, right? I think, I think men have to kind of work at that a little bit, you know, men who identify as men and have masculine bodies. Um, um, because of our capacity, that's the thing is that I look at women and I, I, I mean, that's why I work with is women. I'd love to start working with men because I'd like to get the other side of, of what's going on here. But I see all of these women that have these incredible capacities, these incredible abilities, these incredible, passionate, driven dreams, creativity. And then they get into relationship and I'm like, where did you go? Like what happened? Where did you go? Where did that freedom, where did that femininity, that fierceness, what happened when you chose to like get into a relationship, you know, that now, I, I don't know, I, I, I'm still working through all of this. <laughs> I mean, well, and I mean, just from personal experience, I mean, I'm just coming out of one that I had, like to some degree, I had a level of awareness that I kept making myself smaller to make it work for him. Yeah. Right. That's and, and yeah. And then I was like, I was so deep in, in so many different ways. And maybe that's a story. That's probably a, a telenovela for another day. Right. And, and so, you know, it, at one point, like over the last several months, I just kept waking up and waking up and waking up and waking and being like, wow. And, and, neither like that was probably the best choice I could have chosen was staying in that mm -hmm. 
because of how much I learned about my strengths, Mm -hmm. because of how much I learned about my patients, because I was able to clean up my own stuff that needed sort of tending to that would have probably gotten thrown. Just like I needed that container to really find myself in a way that coming out on the other side is like, watch out yeah. world. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I think relationships are amazing, to be honest. Um, I think that they provide, like you're saying, a container, a framework for what needs to be grown out of and let go of to be really seen and bright. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I was single for six years, right? And I did a lot of personal work and a lot of my own, you know, and then getting into this new relationship, there's this whole other layer of things that that is coming up just for that reason, right? To be looked at, to be cleared. I think there's a lot of things that we can't really do on our own, right? Um, and you know, because I was single for so long and worked on myself for so long, there's a certain level of knowing who I am and what I desire and what I want and what works and what doesn't work for me that is is showing up in the relationship that's different from my past relationships. But it's also like uh, can create a little bit of clashing, you know, because I'm like, yeah, that actually doesn't work for me. And it's not easy to clash with your partner in those things. It's not comfortable to work through those things and come up with something that is creative and generative and a contribution to both of you, right? And I'm seeing in working with clients and in a lot of other things that I'm I'm playing with and involved with right now, the way that it seems easier to give up your need give up your desire rather than work through the process of creating something that works for both of you. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I'm just really curious about, about that uh, and what we can do as women, as a collective to really, really step into what, what is being an empowered woman? How can you be empowered not only, you know, in your business and in your friendships, but also in your romantic relationships and in your business relationships and, and, and in every area of your life. Um, and even with everything that's going on in the world right now, how do we tune into what we know is what we need and how do we choose that no matter what mm. is coming at you? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I got really mad at my boyfriend this morning because he got up a little bit late and left a mess in the kitchen. And he's like, oh, I'm going to leave this for later. And I'm like, uh, excuse me. No, you know, I'm sorry. No, because then either I have to clean it up or I have to look at it all day. And that's not okay. Your ass needs to get up earlier if this is what you think. You know, <laughs> like, um, no, I ain't your maid. I ain't your mama. It ain't gonna happen. You know what I mean? So we're kind of in, in the midst of, of that. Uh, what are we gonna create that works for both of us? The Puerto Pret- Rican comes out. <laughs> that's right. I kind of want to do a post to like all women who, who have sons. <laughs> like I'm, I'm one of them and, and it's funny because because I actually noticed yesterday I picked a box up for him and he and I went and I then I went I put the box back and I was like excuse me can you come here please yeah. is there anything wrong with this picture <laughs> right like he got a he got a package in the mail and he like you know at the socks and the hat and the oh. phone and the like everything and out in the box and I'm like I went to go pick it and I was like mm-mm no. Uh-uh. And so it it's literally in training a, a new muscle. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And and I think it's it's a continuous, you know, continuous for ourselves as as individuals, you know, training in a sense, I mean, I hate to use that word, but training the other person on how you want to be treated right? There's that sort of like assumption, well, they should know because they, if, if they love me, they will do this. No, 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 no. That's the process of like getting to know each other and creating intimacy and building trust and having like, 
you know, boundaries with each other of like, hey, this works for me. This doesn't work for me. Okay, let's create something that works for both of us, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, other people treat us the way that we let them. And that's, that's on us. That's our own oh, baby. responsibility. That's, a, that's our own. I think that's a really, really important piece of being an empowered woman, right? Is knowing what you desire, knowing what works for you and having the ability to communicate it, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe not in like, well, Puerto Rican thing that I did this morning. <laughs> I could do better at that. But, you know, the good thing about my partner is that I know he'll come home and we'll look at it and we'll talk about it and we'll come up with something like that. I can trust mm -hmm. about what we are creating mm -hmm. is that he's always willing to come to the table and work something out. You know, that may be a bumpy ride along the way, but um, yeah, that's, you know, that's just where I'm at in these 10 seconds. <laughs> well, and I also like to add to the other piece of that is, is sometimes empowered is also like trusting the silence of your knowing. Mm -hmm. So sitting in silence, knowing, you know, your truth, right. And not saying anything in, in that moment. And Girl, like I know both of us, we we're talkers. So it's like, you know, really, but, but empowering in the sense of, okay, like I'm having to practice that right now is, is the space of silence and what does that create? And it is, you know, it is actually quite healing for somebody who's a talker, right. And, and subtly just diving into what is in the silence? Because, you know, empowerment is sometimes the most powerful people in the world. They walk into a room, they don't say a word. Nothing. Yeah. And you know, they got something. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I used, I was listening a while ago to this woman, this podcast, Dr. Pat, I don't even know her last name, but she would every once in a while in, in the say, she'd be like, keep your, to the women, keep your masculine mouth shut. And at first I was like, excuse me, but I get it now. I get it. And we were just talking about that before we started recording where I think this is such a valuable piece for, for the empowerment piece, because we are highly intuitive creatures. And if we really allow ourselves to know our intuition, to know what we're perceiving and to trust that, you have to trust yourself first before you can trust someone else. When you allow yourself to trust your intuition, even though the other person may not be there yet, there are, there, I can tell you millions of times, even with clients where I'm aware of something, but that person can't see it yet. They're not aware of it yet, but it's in their universe. It's in their energy field. It's there. And you've got to know when is the like, quote unquote, right time to speak. Right. Um, there's so many times with partners where I'm like, mm, yeah, I think he's lying to himself about this. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off on, you know, because you can't convince someone of something that they're not even aware of yet. <laughs> Keep your masculine mouth shut, Patty. <laughs> so I perceive the energy. I'm aware of it. And for me, that's where the practice of silence comes in as well. It's just like, okay, this is what I know. I am aware of it. It is, you know, it's, I'm not making it up, right? Because that's the thing too, is that as women, I think we have a tendency to sort of like, think that we're crazy or no, that can't be, or, you know, we, we disavow ourselves so often, you know? Um, and yeah, taking that moment to just like acknowledge what you know and be with it and allow it to just sort of do its thing, you know? Cause eventually, I mean, I think you'd agree with me. Everything is revealed if we just allow it. And I love letting the universe take care of it. I don't have to do everything about all that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm aware of that. All right, universe. I just ask, review yourself. <laughs> well, and that's, that's, that's a piece too. It's like when you, when you trust yourself and you're like, I know that this is going to turn out better than I could ever imagine. And I don't know why but I have to choose it. It doesn't make any logical sense. It's a, and, and then it's the trusting it because you're like the out, like 
not from result, but just the energy of what you're going after, it can't not go. Like you're what you desire to, to create in the world can't not happen. Mm-hmm. It's just a matter of when. And so when you take the worry or the fear or the stress out, which creates anxiety, disempowerment, all of those energies, and you take that off the table because you're like, I don't know when, but it's happening. And I just got to get my best foot forward and my best self forward. And, you know, we had a conversation back in January and I was like, I was like, girl, I think I gotta, I gotta make a really hard choice and, you know, leave a relationship. And then I ended up going back and I knew it made absolutely no sense to anybody else. It still doesn't make sense to me because I'm like, really? But there was something pulling, calling me, inviting me, like pushing me to Mm -hmm. not give up. And now that I surrendered to, well, universe, when it's going to be time, it'll be really obvious, you know, and I always say, make it obvious, make it easy, make it fun. Right. (laughs) And, um, and it was so obvious and it was, there was no pain, there was no suffering, there was no tears. Whereas the, the months leading up to the, 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 the change was like suffering and fighting and tears and crying and feeling misunderstood because it wasn't time. And I was trying to force something rather than trust it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, um, there's so many delicious nuggets in everything that you just said. Um, I, I think, again, like relationships serving the, in my, my point of view, serving the purpose of showing us what's next to be healed and what's next to be let go of. And, you know, I, I, it never shows up the way you think it will. Right. And I've met, I've, I've been in similar situations where the choice is like, really, that's what I'm going to do. This makes no logical sense whatsoever, but you're following the energy you're following, like your intuition, your lightness. And even though, like I said, like the, the, it may be a roller coaster ride, but what you're getting out of it in terms of your consciousness, your self-awareness, your, you know, what you're getting out of it on the other side, that's the gift. That's the gold that, that you just, sometimes you got to just trust and trust yourself and trust and let go and let the universe do what it's doing so that you can have more of you on the other side of that, mm-hmm. you know, um, my, my last relationship, I mean, that I remember like, it was one of those things where like, we broke up, there was still some love there, but it was just time. It was so clear and so obvious that it was time to let go. And even though I didn't really, you know, it was evident, like, this is just going to get worse, right? Was what I, my sense was, right? Like our, our chapter is complete. It's just time. And being single for six years, I think it's six years. I don't know. I don't do math. Um, For so long after that and really, oh my gosh, I just learned so much about myself. And I remember even thinking like, I wonder who I'm going to be in my next relationship. Like what is, what's going to show up? What's it going to look like? And I mean, the deep soulful healing that is happening it wouldn't have been possible if I hadn't taken all of that time off from pursuing (laughs) or looking for you know relationship if I hadn't taken all of that time to be with myself so now I get to show up in a different kind of way Um, and that I think is a gift it's still relationship (laughs) And it's still navigating, you know, two different people with two different um, ways of seeing life and being in life. And how do we, you know, be ourselves in this and create something magical and beautiful and amazing that nourishes both of us, you know? So yeah. Any, any, any other nuggets, thoughts, orgasmic living, being empowered, choosing. Uh, What else have we talked about in this very short amount of time? (laughs) 
I mean, I, I would say that this, this piece around not forcing and surrendering and allowing mm-hmm. and receiving, you know, that is the gift of, you know, the feminine, the gift mm-hmm. of like yeah. really relaxing into, cause I know I've played both sides of the fence and have been the masculine woman that gets shit done. Mm-hmm. And, and then I like am learning as I get older to really like rest into the surrender and the peace that's there with surrender. And so, Mm -hmm. you know, I I would say to anyone listening to this, that that doesn't matter where you are in your journey, that you allow yourself to be where you are in your journey. Yeah. Right. You don't need to be behind or ahead or to the side. You are where you are for a reason because there's trusting that there's something that you're expanding on, you're growing on, you're learning from, you're cultivating within yourself, you're you know gaining more trust and all those things require information and a choice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love that. I love that. Trust, love, and surrender you know, oh, trust, love. Wow. I meant it as three different words, but they, <laughs> they do kind of make a nice sentence. They do. They do. Oh, <laughs> trust, trust, love, and surrender. Um, yeah. You know, and, and what, what pops from what you're saying and, and we'll wrap up here in a second, um, tying it back into like orgasmic living and living orgasmically and, the the ability right the 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 ability of being present with all energies right without judging any of it and we all have all of these energies whether we want to define them as masculine or we want to define them as feminine they're just all energies that we actually all really have access to and there are certain energies in some of us that are really really highly developed like i'm an extremely driven woman i'm an extremely creative woman and so i have to cultivate relaxing I have to, I have to cultivate softening. I have to, and I have been for the last, you know, I don't know how many years I have to cultivate surrendering. I have to consciously cultivate all of these other energies that are available. And there's nothing right or wrong with either of those energies, but it's really the practice of continuously cultivating everything. Like, you know, if, if you're, I mean, let's just say it from the, I don't want to go that route, but like, if you're someone who's usually just like super chill and doesn't get anything done and is like always chill and then you're someone who needs to cultivate a little bit of drive and a little bit of like we all have all of these energies available to us and so I just wanted to highlight that from from what you said and I, I just love it trust love and surrender you know trusting yourself loving yourself and surrendering to the universe and consciousness and what's next for you uh how does it get any better than that right <laughs> so my sweet friend i know that we are coming to the end of our time here do you i know that you have a free gift for us and i have a free gift uh, as well so go ahead and, and tell us what that is Yeah. So it's just a really short mini class on getting to know your body better Mm. and like really asking the questions that, that create a stronger relationship, right? Because Mm. the whole point is when you change any dynamic in any relationship, you have relationship to money, relationship to business, relationship to your relationship, your whole life shifts. So it's a mini masterclass. People normally pay for it. It's my gift to, to you guys. And we'll, we'll get you. Yay. Yeah. You can find the link somewhere around this video or if you're watching it, it'll either be up there or down here. Maybe it'll be over there. I don't know. Um, and I would also like to offer everyone my free gift, the six keys to living an orgasmic life, which I think would actually go really well with the gift that you're offering, Catherine. Um, and you can find that at Pat alfonso.sexy slash free gift. Thank you all so much for being with us here today. Um, Go forth into the world, you know, and really start trusting yourself, start loving on yourself more and more and more and more, and then surrendering to the gifts that the universe is just waiting to give you.
Amen. All right, my sweet friend. Thank you so much for being here. I adore you. you me. Bye, everyone. We'll see you next time. <laughs>